welcome to my YouTube channel. So this morning I'm getting the van all packed up because I'm going to spend a couple of days off grid camping in Glencoe. I've got a photography workshop on Saturday, but I'm going to head up earlier today just to see what photographs I can get and maybe make up a YouTube video while we're there. So join me and let's see where this adventure takes us. in the car park where we're all meeting up tonight. So just look what the rain's going. Just to show you a quick preview of my view. It's absolutely beautiful. Just turn around. Just so the van doesn't get totally submerged. Right so the plan is to brave all this rain and walk my way down the edge of the lock and shoot back the way as the sun's coming through the mountains here on this side so let's see let's get ready So I've reached, I'll just turn round and you can get an idea where I am. So the road is just behind me, up here. You'll probably see a car going past. If I turn round, or oh, hopefully you've heard that. So the deer are very, very vocal, vocal. So I can't see any, I can hear them. They are definitely across the other side of the loch. So what we'll do is, I'll keep looking, keep my eye out for them, just in case there's a, a kind of long range photo op. But there's a nice wee bay here. So what I might do is, keep walking and look for any kind of compositions, because there's a number of trees as I walk on my right hand side. And uh, I'm still trying to make sure I can catch that light as quick as I can in the mountains. And that's the Black Mount mountains up here at Loch and Elisa at Glencoe. So we'll keep walking and hopefully we'll stop soon and get a photo. So I've been here for about 10 minutes because oh and all the excitement I found this wee beach at the side of the loch totally undisturbed it's absolutely beautiful you've got the bellowing of the stags across the other side of the loch. The light has completely changed as you'll see there's rain clouds coming in over the Black Mount mountains so I've put in a long exposure. So I'm just testing this just to see how much 
exposure I need so I'll probably take a couple of seconds because what I want a couple of minutes because what I want to do I've got the rocks in the foreground with the beach and I want to get the lock as smooth as possible but because there's so much rain coming in on the other side that'll smooth out anyway with a long exposure so yeah the reason I had to go back to my van was because I forgot my tripod so I got here seen it went to get set up realized I didn't have a tripod so I had to walk all the way back to the van and all the way back and I lost all that amazing light that was hitting those mountains so I can see we're probably going to get hammered with rain in a little while so let's make the use the best use of what we've got while we can now what I'll do is I'll keep taking images as many as I can I'm not going to talk you through them just because I might be running out of time because of the weather and then what I'll do is once I've completed taking those images I'll share those images with you now all right so I've moved round to the side here and then what I'm doing is I've got a composition where I've got the sun behind me I've got these two rocks on the beach I've then got the shoreline sweeping from left to right I've got all those rain clouds in the background coming through the Black Mount Mountains I've got some trees, the wind has eased so hopefully with this probably 16 to 20 second exposure then I'll have enough that the water will be silky smooth but I'll get the detail in the rocks and equally as long as it's not too strong a wind those trees should be in focus so there's 25 seconds and I've got no highlight clippings and that could be a nice shot and then what I've got here is I've got those two rocks immediately in the foreground I've got the third rock just in front of them I've got this little outlet here beside the beach and then I've got the trees but we've got the contrast of the really bright sky on the right hand side and all the rain coming through the glen so this could be quite a nice image and that, that could be quite nice the shadows look quite harsh in the background but that's okay we can lift them if we need to so what I'll do is I'll just move further round I might try and move that direction just a little bit and then see if I can get another composition this way because I'm conscious I want to make sure I keep the sun behind me and then we'll work our way around and we'll look for a couple of trees and then let's see what images we can make as we walk around the edge of the lock. and see what we can find I'll just turn the camera around and you can see what I'm seeing this nice yellow ochre tree right in front of us so what I'll do is I'll walk around the edge of this path and see if we can get closer the vibrance of that tree and the dark background would be quite nice so I'll catch up when I find the right composition all right so I came to the edge of the loft and I've got that tree right in front of me but the reason I stopped here is we've lost the light just now because the sun's been covered by the clouds and I'm just going to wait until that gets lit up again but what I'm trying to do here is just use the atmosphere in the background because it's got really dark so again we're back to that contrast with the bright sky the dark sky sky the rain's coming through the glen again and uh, at some point i think it's going to hit us because that happened earlier on today um right so what i'll do is i'm doing a long exposure shot I've done a 25 second exposure, I'm going to do a 40 second exposure to lift it right up and then if I need to then I can use the 20 second exposure sky um, because I really want that atmosphere because it's really dark and I'm just checking the image 
Oh wow, it's absolutely stunning. The way that the long exposure softening the water, it's really nice. All we need now is for the, the sun to hit that tree. So what I'll do is, I'll take some more shots here while I'm waiting on the light and then I'll share those images with you and hopefully the sun comes back. Back in the van because the rain, the heavens opened again and we get absolutely soaked. So I'll just turn the camera around and you can see what it's like outside. So it's pretty miserable, the sun's leaking through one of the clouds now. So I can hear the rain still heavy on the van. So what I'll do is I'll wait until the rain goes off and then we'll go back out again and we'll finish off. And we'll try and get that tree that we were looking for with the sun hitting. Okay, so <laughs> third time lucky. Um, that's the rain stopped and that's me back to the same spot to try and get a photograph of that tree with the light. So the sun is setting behind the mountain here. So I had to run down and grab, try and grab a shot before I lost the light because I had no time to set this camera up, that camera up and then take the shot. So hopefully it's turned out so what i'll do now is i'm just going to walk around there's a little bay over there i'll walk around to that wee bay while it's in the sun and um, because the sun's going down quite quickly behind that mountain and let's see if there's any lone trees that we can get for grass. see what way the sun's going to go so I'll just turn this around the shadows that the sun's casting at the moment on the backdrops are absolutely stunning right so I'm using an ND filter I've put on an ND6 filter just for the sky because I'm trying to get the foreground as bright as I possibly can shots that we take tonight unless there's a, an amazing sunset which could be actually but for this for here what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to do a tricky balance of getting some kind of detail in the foreground trying to get that sky because the sky is really nice and then in the middle of the image it's all really dark so I'm going to put my hand in front of the lens because I'm going to take three or four different exposures. Now what I'm trying to do now is zoom in because there's some really nice light rays coming into the picture in the back. Ideally I should have the long lens on but what I'll do here, oh I'll put my hand over so I know when those exposures ended. Right so I'm going to brighten up the scene just so I can see where those rays are coming in. Right, I'm just going to focus in on those rays. I'll just set my focal point here. I'll take that shot, put my hand over, and then that's that image. Right, so if I take any more images, I'll share those with you now. And if not, then we'll catch you back.
curry cooking. Kenny's already just about finished. Got his curry and he's too lazy to use a plate, so he's used <laughs> the pan. <laughs> Cowboys. Uh, we'll do a quick dash over to Mark. Mark's sitting eating his curry as well. Evening. Oh, it's all very nice in here. I like the interior. Thank you. Uh, oh, you've got the seats as well. Cool. One in it, right? Spin round. So Mark's tucking into his curry. <laughs> so let's see if Mick's got anything. Well, Mick, have you started cooking? Yeah. Right, Mick started cooking as well. I'll have meatballs and pasta. Meatballs and pasta. The only one that's not having curry. <laughs> 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 Italian curry and I think Alan's in his van yeah it's awfully mucky here yep Alan's in his van right so we'll get back to cooking ours hey guys cheers have you enjoyed your day? absolutely yeah the weather would have been better, but never mind. Yeah. <laughs> it's been good, but the company's been good. It's better. Scotland. <laughs> the wild camping's good. The wine is nice, and the fire's good. Aye, yeah. the fire's warming up our wine, so we'll have one or two before we go to bed tonight. Before we start Kenny's workshop in the morning. Bright and early. Rough Got a wee long light, Kenny. Yep. Five it's minutes. What's a long light to you, Kenny? Uh, for me. <laughs> so, anybody that wants to join Kenny's workshop in the future, come along because it's fantastic. Well, for the great afternoon with uh, the Stirling District Camera Club guys, we've had a good old recce around Loch and Elise. Uh, we've we're wild camping. I'll take you around the campsite just now, or well, I've already filmed the campsite. So, hopefully, you'll have seen that footage as well. It's pretty cold. It must be about two degrees. So we're all warmed up. We've got Kenny's fire and uh, we're just tucking into one or two wee glasses of wine before we go to sleep because we have to get up early tomorrow and go and join a photography workshop but that'll be another video so hopefully we can make a video out of this I can't see it being particularly long because of all the interruptions with the rain today but if you enjoy it please give it a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed please do because you know it's free and if you press the bell notification that'll let you know the next time I post a video so thanks very much for watching and here's to the next video